Hey YouTubers, this is John from Strange Technologies and this is my uh, new JL, LJL circuit that uh, I've built up. i um, been doing a lot of shopping on eBay for parts. Uh, I got a bunch of these uh, jewel cases. Uh, I think I paid maybe 10 or 10 bucks for 20 of them. This is uh, they only fit 10 CDs in there, but as you can see, it fits the coil in there really nice. Um, can mount the transistor on it, and the nice little switch that I got at Radio Shack. Cords I got at, uh, I think it was Home Depot, for $1.67 a piece. And these are the uh, EcoSmart 6 watt bulbs. Also got those at. Uh, Home Depot for I believe something around fifteen dollars for two and I thought I would uh, give you a quick video here of um, how I went about uh, putting this all together um, here is how it's set up Let's see if I can get this uh, focus in for you real quick here I don't know if you can really see that very well. Uh, basically, the uh, maybe I can zoom it in for you. Okay, the primary coil is uh, 30 turns at 27 gauge wire, 4 inch diameter, and the secondary secondary is uh, 100 turns. And it's the same uh, same gauge at uh, 27 gauge wire. And it shows how to hook up the transistor and everything. Fairly easy, very easy, I should say. Not fairly, but it is very easy to do. A quick overview of everything how it's set up there. Um, I have uh, installed the uh, the diode on it. Uh, it keeps it keeps the transistor nice and cool. Haven't had any problems with the transistors. Uh, I did uh, buy ten transistors from Mauser, um, but they were the wrong ones. It was a two N three zero five five G, which are the wrong transistors to use. They they'll heat up and get really extremely hot. Uh, over 110 degrees uh, these here work really really good and I, I bought these uh, the transistor that you see there from Radio Shack I think they were $2.99 a piece or something like that they're a little more expensive I've got uh, another 10 more uh, transistors coming in from Mauser that are the same ones that these are here um, I tried to uh, look up the uh, the manufacturer of the radio radio shack transistor but uh, it seems like you have to order like a whole truckload just for them to ship them in because I believe they're from uh, China and it takes forever to get stuff from China uh, I ordered uh, a couple of things uh, some probes for my uh, oscilloscope and it took three weeks for just a, one set of uh, probes to come in so I'd like to get these kind of uh, put out there. I'm going to be using these uh, around the house. Um, uh, if you can see this here, I'll take that picture, or the uh, schematic out of the way. I am running the two uh, six watt bulbs there. And I'll zoom out just a little bit here, I think. Yeah. And I'm using a uh, 75 amp hour battery that I got uh, from the hospital. They were throwing those out. I got four of them for like a hundred bucks. They're pretty inexpensive. As you see, I've got a nine volt battery sitting there also. And uh, I'm actually uh, it isn't it isn't exactly hooked up. Uh, to run the 12 volt and the 9 volt together I just have it uh, for a connection but what I'll do here is I'll uh, take the 
take the uh, 12 volt turn off I'll hook the 9 volt battery in series with it and it gets awful bright <laughs> it's really bright when you hook up the, the uh, 9 volt in series with it um, that's probably pretty close to full brightness I would think uh, it doesn't run quite as efficient though uh, I believe the uh, efficiency is with just the one six watt bulb is um, like a, a quarter of an amp and uh, with these two bulbs I measured them out and it was uh, 0 0.30 amps so that's uh, that's running extremely efficient considering you're going to be running uh, six watts right there uh, with I'm um, sorry 12 watts with the two six watt bulbs And I did uh, do a little bit of messing around with this. I've got a small 12-volt uh, battery pack with some AA batteries here. And uh, I can actually uh, hook this up to it, too. And it works really well. It's nice, compact. Kind of dim because the batteries are dead or aren't quite as uh they're not really new batteries there's a couple of batteries in there that are older and you can also run these in series with the nine volt too uh it's somewhat usable light i would believe uh it doesn't run quite as hot um these actually will work with a nine volt battery also Up this nine volt battery here. Yeah. And it's very, very dim, but it does light. And if you, of course, if you take one of these bulbs out, the other one will get a little bit brighter. Not much brighter, but it will get brighter. And it is usable light, of course, you know. And again, the battery isn't uh, fully charged, it isn't brand new, and it's not a rechargeable one, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd be uh, charging them up with my solar panels. But it, uh, well, I guess on camera it does look like it's pretty bright, but it, it actually it's uh, it's pretty dim in real life. Get it back up to the 12 volt here. That's pretty bright right there. It's not uh, complete brightness or full brightness, like if you had them hooked up uh, to the grid or anything like that. But uh, they're that's very usable light right there. Um, let me see if there's another. I thought I had another schematic around here. I must have tossed it out. But I had uh, I was going to show you some uh, other uh, clips along with this one that I had used those uh, other transistors and they every single one of them I put uh, three of these things together and all three of them got over a hundred degrees and it was uh, and that was just running on 12 volt too and uh, the light they would work I meant they turned on and everything but it was extremely warm. I can probably take a shot of this one here, and it's not too bad, 82 degrees, and the table right there is 76 degrees, so it's with, well within uh, within the temperatures I'd want to put it on, if I were to put it on a, you know, a plastic uh, container like that, but these containers were real inexpensive. I, can't remember exactly it's a it was a website that had uh, uh, DVD recorders on there and uh, you could like record 10 DVDs at one time uh, if you're looking for something like this to to put your uh, LJL coils in uh, they work really nice I think it would uh, 
I suppose I could turn this over and kind of show you the back of it. Fits in there really, really nice. Um, and I'm using the uh, European style plugs. Uh, these are the very small plugs uh, because you only have probably about, well, you can see maybe uh, five eighths of an inch there to uh, get this plug and the wires to fit in there. And they do, they, uh, everything fits. I, the only thing that I do is I drill out the center post here so it goes over the, the nut. But otherwise, uh, yeah, it works really, really well. Very well, very good and uh, usable white. And I'll be using these uh, oh, around, uh, around the house here in certain like uh, closets and whatnot that we don't have uh, electrical outlets in uh, that I need to see. But that's about it for now. Uh, if uh, you need any uh, questions on how on where to get any of these parts or whatever, uh, I can uh, uh, you can send me an email or whatever, and I'll look it up. I've got them bookmarked on my computer. Uh, be more than happy to to set you up. So that's it for now. Uh, this is John with Strange Technologies. Thanks for watching.